When you heard there was going to be a second season of Stranger Things, did you tell the Netflix you wanted a raise? No. <laughs> Fans of Stranger Things are truly in a bind right now because they know season four is coming and they know season four is filming, but due to the pandemic restrictions and filming being shut down throughout much of 2020, the season could have been done by now, but it's not. In fact, how close it is to being done is a bit up in the air. Fans are always looking for any kind of update to help cement the status of season four. And thankfully, the cast is talking a little. So given that, allow us to show you Stranger Things season four, Gate and Matarazzo update. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Eight, Gate and Matarazzo speaks on season four. So has there honestly been an update on things with the show? Yes, yes, there has, and in fact, it comes from Dustin, AKA Gaten Matarazzo. He was interviewed about the progress of things and gave a rather blunt update on things in terms of how filming is going. Slow, Gaten says, when asked how production is coming along on season four. Slowly, but surely, filming already is basically playing it by ear anyway, but the pandemic on top of it just makes scheduling a lot harder. Everyone's great, Gaten says. I actually had not gotten to see anybody really during the quarantine at all. There was a stretch of six months where we really weren't talking to each other a lot, we all had stuff going on at home, but that made going back a lot more fun. The minute we stepped back on set, we said, we have the coolest job on planet Earth. And perhaps they do, as they get to be a part of a critical and fan-praised phenomenon. But the fact remains that very little has been sussed out about Stranger Things season four, which is partially the point, as the cast and crew don't want things to be put out into the internet that'll truly spoil things, but there have been some leaks to note. Seven, the trailer park. New images of the Stranger Things set, courtesy of the Daily Mail, showed a trailer park overrun by the Upside Down. Red and black vines have ensnared trailers, telephone poles, and the sign to the park itself. It isn't completely clear if this place is in Hawkins, but considering that town's ties to the Upside Down, it could be likely. Either way, the sheer number of winding tendrils spells trouble for anyone within the vicinity of the trailer park. Whether this scene truly takes place within the Upside Down and is just lacking the typical special effects that complete the look, or is proof that the Upside Down has begun to overtake the real world remains to be seen. The latter explanation would have some horrifying consequences for Stranger Things, and could certainly help season four live up to that reputation of being the scariest one yet. However, the Upside Down is so unpredictable that anything could happen. And of course, the question of whether this is the only place that the Upside Down has enveloped in vines needs to be asked because rarely does that place settle for one location. Six, David Harbour's praise of season four. David Harbour has already been very open about how things in season four are evolving his character, but recently he pushed that further. Detailing that the show's creators, the Duffer brothers, Matt and Ross Duffer, are, quote, very responsive to the fan response, unquote, but also a step ahead with the script, Harbour told people exclusively that audiences will see a lot of your favorite characters doing the thing that you love them for, but you'll also see them twist it and turn it into other colors and other flavors. And one of the great things that you can see with Hopper is that he was a protector. He's a man of justice and he now has become a prisoner. He shared, he's trapped and he's isolated. And we get to see an entirely other color of him that has been hinted at, Harbour added. This season is my favorite because he is really going to show you some new colors and what he's really made up of. He went on, you really do get to see a lot of his backstory of who he was as a warrior, in a sense, and sort of the mistakes he made in the past come back to visit him, he said. And he just sort of unfolds. Chief Hopper is obviously one of the fan beloved characters on the show, and they were very happy to know that he was alive, even if that meant being trapped in Russia. His own story is apparently going to get very scary, but his comments about the other characters twisting is very intriguing wording and one that fans will no doubt try to dissect meaning from. Five, the epicenter. Season four of Stranger Things is going to have a variety of new things from characters to locations, to monsters more than likely, but some clues have already been put out by the cast that got people talking. For example, the title of season four's opening episode is The Hellfire Club. Not too long ago, Stranger Things' Twitter account started teasing the club, raising speculation amongst fans about what kind of club it is. The description of Joseph Quinn's character, Eddie Munson, provides an answer. Eddie is an audacious 80s metalhead who runs The Hellfire Club, Hawkins High's official D&D club. Hated by those who don't understand him and beloved by those who do, Eddie will find himself at the terrifying epicenter of this season's mystery. You probably won't have guessed early on that a brand new character to Stranger Things would be the epicenter of things to come, but yet that's exactly what's happening. But why him? 
That is the question. Furthermore, them noting that it was the terrifying epicenter further cements the horror feeling of what might be coming. 4. The Clocks Depending on how much you pay attention to Stranger Things, Twitter, and certain teases we've gotten for Season 4, you might know the importance of clocks in regards to the upcoming return of Stranger Things. For example, the second episode of Season 4 has been confirmed to be TikTok Mr. Clock. Furthermore, the Twitter handle for Stranger Things has featured the crew showcasing a lot of clocks, not the least of which is a massive clock tower that is now in the Upside Down. As if that wasn't enough, they keep showing ticking clocks in promotional materials for the season, showing that either time or clocks as a whole is going to be a part of the season in some way. The clock tower could be the one located in the downtown section of Hawkins, indicating that the small town is once again being terrorized by outside sources. There are also rumors among fans that this is a sign that time travel could be possible and that the Hawkins crew is going to be part of that in some way. Or if you recall David Harbour's comments, it could be a reference to how they're going to rewind the clock to show more backstory for certain characters like Chief Hopper. Not unlike the show itself, this could go many different directions and twists in ways you don't expect, including being a symbol that time, quote unquote, is running out. Three, a nightmare in Stranger Things. There have been certain casting reveals that are going to raise eyebrows and also raise the hype level for the season as recurring player Robert Englund being brought into the show to play Victor Creel, a disturbed and intimidating man who's imprisoned in a psychiatric hospital for a gruesome murder in the 1950s. Why is this so perfect to casting? Because as you all hopefully know, Robert Englund was the man behind the original Nightmare on Elm Street via his portrayal of Freddy Krueger. Will his past conviction lead to new revelations about everything going on? Or will he break out of the hospital that he's in and terrorize those around him? You can bet that he wasn't just brought on for a cameo. That'd be a waste of talent, and the showrunners rarely waste talent. 2. The Mysteries to Come The beautiful thing about Stranger Things is that they never show their hand more than they have to before the launch of a new season. As such, it's hard to predict where things will go. While characters like Chief Hopper and even Jonathan Byers have gotten small details about their own storylines revealed, many of the other characters have not. 11. For example, has been very quiet in terms of details, and Millie Bobby Brown hasn't been talking about Eleven at all outside of subtle teases about powers, relationships, etc. More and more teases about the scarier elements of the season all keep popping up as well. What could it all mean in the end? 1. The release date of Season 4 Production of Season 4 is going slow due to pandemic restrictions, but they were already filming before the pandemic hit, so that works in their favor. Plus. If they were to finish it before, say, the end of April, then all that would be left is SFX and VFX, localization to the nations Netflix is in, which takes a while, and certain other details, and then it's done. Many are hoping that the fourth season will arrive soon, because if they have to wait until 2022 for it, that might be scarier than all of the Upside Down. So what do you think? What do you think of this update on Stranger Things Season 4 from some of the cast and how their words might tease what is coming in the fourth season? Do you think that this one will indeed be the scariest yet? Or the one that best shows off some of the characters? What are you personally hoping to see from the next season of Stranger Things? What surprises do you hope are shown? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time on the channel.